inside the circle. Sean, this is it, buddy. The granddaddy at Lamar. We're talking about 195, 220. Hog Molly's at 285. Sean, you're in a good spot right now. You stay right there. We're going to keep it. You are about to be brought inside the circle. How many people are going to watch this clip? Mm. 65. No way, less than that. You 38. Think so? Think so? Well, I, mean, I don't know the answer to that. What's funny about that is our first episode, you can still watch them on Go Ohio, our first ever whiteboard predictions. Sean asked me, how many people think will watch this? I was like, I don't know, 75? 70. What did I say? I, I don't know, maybe 100? It ended up getting 1,000 on one of I think sets. I said more than that. No, okay, said, whatever you said. Whatever I said was right. I said for 75, and he said no. And I said, well, we got, we got a whole lot more than 75 viewers. We actually have more than 75 subscribers to the. 195 pounds, Sean. Go ahead. 195 pounds. We have ranked as the fifth toughest weight at Darby. Ooh. This is really a good weight here. At number one, we have AJ Jones, who's still undefeated this season, has wins with Old Tangy, Marion Harding, and New Albany. Did have a close match with uh, Satterfield in the 2x4 uh, on Thursday, but returning state plays are kind of solid guy. Really hasn't been challenged other than that one match, which I think may hang sure. down the road there with uh, competition, but a solid guy and clearly the number one guy here at uh, 195. At number two, we have Martinez from Delaware. Got third at the Greater Miami Valley Tournament, losing to uh, Harris from Urbana, Urbana which yes. is legit loss. Jack yeah, Harris. That guy's a, Jack Harris is a superstar. Uh, super, <laughs> Jack Harris, Jack Hammer. It's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> Go ahead. That's the guy here, man. Uh, I expect him to be on the podium at the shop for sure. And uh, just, I think, if he, I wish he'd get just a little bit more aggressive. He's just kind of a passive okay. guy to me in general. Like, if he just gets a little bit more aggressive, he could really work his way up the ladder there at the shot, Steve. But right now, we'll put him at number three. I mean, at number two. At number three, a guy we haven't seen this year at all, Kendersky from All Tangent Liberty, basically made his. Encore debut, I guess, as we want to word it there. He went 2-0 uh, and o here at the duels against yeah. Laura Walsh. Uh, solid guy. I think he just needs to get around into shape there. Looked like he looked like he's been off the mat a month, which he has been, and I expect him to improve off that. If Marysville does nothing else, they continually make me look like Johnny come lately here. Last year, I remember when me and Mark went up to Ironman and I seen Jake Marsh go 0-2. I really knew that kid was better than that and told Mark, I know this kid went 0-2 and this is going to sound crazy, but I really think I'm going to rank him in initial rankings. And before I could do that, he stormed his way to get second at the smoke and here I look like Johnny come lately. In my rankings, I had moved uh, Satterfield up off the Brexville results. Even though he went on place, I really thought he'd wrestle better than I seen him at the beginning of the year. And it looks like he's a lot better than he was last year. So what's he do? He takes AJ Jones in overtime and makes me look, and Marysville makes me look like a Johnny come lately once again. Thank Johnny you, Marysville. Come lately. Thank, you, thank you, Marysville, for me wearing your shirt for a year to constantly make me look like a Johnny come lately. New kid but in I, town. I'm really starting to like, man. <laughs> so I like this guy, and uh, I really think he can make a push up the ladder here and pretty solidify himself as a state qualifier level guy within the Derby District. So, guy to watch out for, dangerous, that does a lot of wrestling in the offseason. Mm -hmm. And right now, we're going to slot him at number four in climbing. Ooh, you like that? I did like that. No, you didn't like I that. Did right, I didn't. At number 20, the thinnest weight, which is ironic because it's 220, my 14th toughest weight at Derby. I'm sure we can all figure out what that means is 220. In fact, the guy I have ranked number one didn't wrestle last year. The guy I have ranked number four didn't even start varsity last year. I think it gives us some um, indication of why we got the number 14 ranking there. But at number one, we really have a solid guy in Ben Fry. This is a guy from Brexfield to Greater Miami Valley at North Canton Hoover. I'm talking to all these guys about. I was up at the North Canton Hoover and the uh, guys from Intermat said, give me one name in your district that nobody knows about that's going to be a superstar. And what did I say? Ben Fry, I'm ben telling you, this Fry. guy is a superstar, his length, he's just a, a athletic machine, mm -hmm. I really think he's so much better, and I heard someone say like, we're prematurely moving on to number one, prematurely, this guy is like killing everybody, I mean, he's just beating state qualifiers in every tournament, he has beat a state qualifier in every tournament he has wrestled, which is absolutely amazing to me, and I think that there's just, he's just head and shoulders above the rest of the field. Number, it's because he's six foot eight. That could be part of it as well. At number two, we're going to go with another Dublin guy, uh, Raz Lumpkins from mm. Dublin Side. good in his own right. Mark, yes. you seen him wrestle yesterday? Yes, uh, I did. I also saw him wrestle at Marion Harding. He, the dude is, there's the deal. 
Number one, he's, he's good. looking for the ten point move. That, well, he is always, a, but here's the deal: when he gets that freight train running, it is very difficult yeah. to stop. And he's got good position. Coach Little does a great job making sure he's in solid position. And when you see a guy on a double leg that keeps his hips underneath him and he drives across the body, I'm a fan of that, and that's exactly what he yeah. does. So, thank you for letting me interject. Hello, thank you. Yeah. Yep. Be a little something extra to check this week. So right now we'll put La Raz Lumpkins at number two. Number three, we're going with the only state qualifier in the weight class is Leo Crosby. Hasn't really been on the mat that much. I know he's banged up a little bit. He missed a week because of ACT. He did wrestle out at the Zanesville tournament. On the 29th, I do on believe he did, yeah. On the 29th, he did get first, but it really has very limited uh, results this year. So we'll be looking forward to him going forward. I think we see him somewhere. I, I think they're at Laking Heights. The Licking Heights. Yes. They usually wrestle in the Licking Heights tournament, so we'll, have, we'll get a little bit more information on how he's doing at the Licking Heights tournament. At number four, we're going with uh, Houston from Olden Tangy Orange, kind of a newcomer on the scene, a guy who's really uh, improved so much from last year, got first at the Upper Orange tournament, and got second yesterday at the Olden Tangy Orange. But overall, like, the depth of this weight class is just not there, and I'm actually struggling to find out five and six place guys if I had to go that deep. Uh, you know, just some names to throw out there, but really it's been kind of a... Any chance Darby doesn't have 16 guys at that weight class? No. <laughs> I thought it was funny. That's not funny. Okay, go ahead. Um, the uh, number 14th ranked weight at this... Give me two, 285. I'm going to finish it up with 285, which isn't... It, the boys you know, are it, big. It isn't 170, but it's not 220, and it is the 13th toughest weight here. And really, we just have one headliner and everybody else behind him. Camera teacher, Ironman champ, Bye. North Kent Hoover champ, Medina champ. I mean, he's just basically for two years, other than that one hiccup he had last year at the state tournament, has absolutely been a wrecking ball, phenomenal athlete. I don't think anyone in our district can really go with him. And um, he's right now clearly our number one guy. At number two, we're going with Sterling Roseberry. I really like this guy. Mm. He had this big throw over this guy who probably weighed 400 pounds and was <laughs> eight foot tall down at the Greater Miami Valley. They called him Big Country from Lakota West. Guy's wrestling a lot of confidence, does a ton of wrestling in the summer. A very smart wrestler, always strategically in the right position. And I really expect him and Teacher to be two guys that I just can't see however it shapes out them not making it to the state tournament. I just right. think they're just a little bit ahead of the rest of the field and rather a crowded a rather crowded weight class at this point. At number three, we're going to go Wonderlich from UA. Won their uh, UA tournament. And then really had a great showing rallying, being down four or five points in the semifinals to a state qualifier from New Lexington to get into the Medina finals. And I was really impressed with his staying in. I'm going to get one point at a time yeah. and work my way back to this match. He did a great job of doing that to make his way to the Medina finals. Big kid, too. Probably close to the 285-pound weight class. So uh, that's always an advantage at uh, these weights. At number four, we're going to go the Hoskin Harris split. Uh, Pick one, man. They're yeah, both, they're both cool. good. Uh, Zanesville, yes. Another kid who won the, uh, they're in one round tournament on the 29th, and you said Harris got third. Uh, Harris would have won it, and then Hoskinson, or uh, yeah, Hoskinson got second. So, okay. Or third, maybe third, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. But anywho, they're, they're one two right, punch. Right, right. Whoever steps on the mat at Darby from Zanesville yes. is somebody who's probably going to be looking for a state qualifier spot and uh, definitely be favorite to be on the spot. And then we have people like Skinner, Spiker, and who? Hubschman. Hubschman yes. from uh, Dublin Cider that had a great he tournament yesterday did. as Mark was there witnessing yep. his. Uh, his skills on display. So, yep. um, hope you like the shows here. We're gonna shoot for a final ranking. We, you want to go one week or two weeks before the sectionals is our final ranking heading into uh, the sectionals. The sectionals are twentieth. That means the fourteenth is that Sunday. That's Valentine's Day. So we'll go for the seventh as our third installment before like we it. before we go from there. So, so look for the seventh uh, of February to be yes. our final installment of rankings. And uh, now, and now you are inside the circle.